Well, here we are in driving rain at the Australian Technology Park in Redfern, where the band Silverchair are apparently just on a mill break, and I've spotted one of them there, young Daniel Johns. He's looking very excited, very resplendent in purple. Chris and Ben making their way along to... No, they're not. There's only two out of three. Get coming out of the rain. Oh, this is so exclusive. How would you be today? What are you doing here? Oh, well, you know, I heard there was kind of catering action happening. Is, is there mad catering madness? Yep. There peanut is. Peanut butter and Vegemite sandwiches. Peanut butter and Vegemite. That sounds pretty exciting. Now, you're here to do a film clip for, um, for your new song, the first single off your new album, Neon Ballroom. What's the song called? It's all secret. It's all so secretive. The song's called Anthem for the Year 2000. What a timely song. Yeah, perfect. And it's, it's, it's about the kids taking it back? Is it from the, the, the small bits I've heard of it? Youth Against Establishment, pretty much. Just very serious um, against politicians. It's time for the youth to take over. I like it. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's, it's intense. A, oh, it just sounds... It's just... It's there. It's now. It's political. And what's happening with the clip? What are you kind of breaking... Is, have you turned into Insurge? What? Have you turned into Insurge? Is it a big political burning thing, the film clip? What's Insurge? What's Insurge? You know, the band, I hate stupid people. Don't you know Insurge? Nah. How could We're you born in 79. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no, no. They're recent, you know, political prisoners. Right. Sorry. IMF? No. no. Oh, oh. I've seen that song. Yeah. yeah. The the keyboard car wash or something? But yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, it's the car wash action today. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, we're not Insurge. You're not Insurge. No. Oh, it's good that we've cleared that up. So your new album, Neon Ballroom, were there some songs on there that were particularly hard to write? Was Anthem for the year 2000 hard to write? Did it take, was it 2000 years in the making? No, um, Anthem for the year 2000 took about 10 minutes to write. That was the quickest song I've ever written. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, Lie to Me off the last album was the quickest and that took like five seconds or something. Five no. seconds? About 30 seconds. About 30 seconds? Yeah, but... There was some that took a long time. Emotion sickness took about three weeks. Which one took three weeks? Emotion sickness. Uh huh. That's the first track off our new uh, album entitled Neon Ballroom. Who can Neon Ballroom? What a concept. Whose idea was that? Well, I, I think it kind of sprung about by itself. You know, the whole uh, new, old mixed together. Neon being new, ballroom being old. Yeah. yeah. Oh, new and old. I like it. Never knew. Hugh, your lighting guy, he had the sneak tape. He played it to me. He charged me $10,000 just for the yeah. sneak. I hope you get a cut of that. And it seems to be some s very serious moments there, kind of holding back from f non-stop blocks of rock. It is. It's very serious. It's a lot more personal than our other albums, and it confronts some very uh, confronting issues. So, it was, so was it harder to write? Yeah, it was written in a... Um, I approached it, writing it differently. The last two albums, um, we wrote music and then I wrote lyrics over the top. But this time I just wrote uh, like 112 poems in three months and just wrote music around the poems and then put the poems into a lyrical format and then that was it. That was songs, that was Neon Ballroom. Where did the idea to bring in uh, some guest musicians uh, come from? Well, uh, I th yes. Yes, Daniel? <laughs> I think it was all part of um, to, uh, not just making it more interesting, but um, I mean, w we thought about David Healthcott and, you know, we never really took it serious till a little later and then, um, I mean, it just kind of happened and it came in and it really worked and it was, was great. Was he a freaky guy to work with? Um, no, he was um, he's very good. I must say that. Um, it was quite interesting actually just to... Christmas I've seasoned piano... Uh, watcher? Yeah, piano Because <laughs> <'Cause laughs> I've only watcher. seen snippets of Shine, I hadn't really seen much. So I'd actually meet him and everyone was talking about how he was, is. Yeah. And to meet him was quite a thrill. 
And we see, did, did you kind of play some, some keys on the album as well? Did any of um, you, or was he a bit too, no, oh, I'll play the keys? You mean piano? Yeah. No, I That's was... Like keyboards, you know, yeah. it's kind of like industry talk ones. for... Yeah. yeah. I'm not quite up to scratch with that. in with that in whole industry thing. Yeah. <laughs> so industry. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Where? Molly. He's looking, hey, Wilco, Richie Wilde. Did you just play guitar on the album? Yeah, the, I just had, um, when I was writing, I pretty much had a clear vision of what I wanted every song to sound like. So I had some instrumentation in my head and just had meetings with people who were arranging the parts and told them exactly what I wanted, the kind of discordant um, manic piano parts and lush beautiful string sections and just decided to keep guitar a more subtle instrument on this album rather than a dominant force like it was on the last two albums. Is it still fun? You've got to leave on an up note. Yeah, yeah. For your fans. It's still, we'll stop as soon as we don't enjoy making music. The music is the most satisfying part of, is the only satisfying part of being in a band. Thriving. Yeah. It's the satisfying part of being alive. And where's Ben? Very lastly, is he still having uh, dinner? He's, we can't say what he's oh, doing. Oh, okay. oh, I've got, oh, I've got to wrap it up. Yeah, okay, no, no, we'll, sorry. Sorry, we'll end it there. Thanks for talking to us, Chris and Daniel from Silver Chill.